Well, let's let's kind of shift gears and talk about some failures. How have failures played a role in your success over the years? Yeah. You know, I would say, you know, the one a, a big failure. Um, I, I don't look at things as failures. I look at things as, um, you know, seminars, and some of them are just more expensive than others. I like that. And so when I, for example, um, um, when I after I sold my internet company, um, I started a a business, another business with my brother and a, and a and a and a buddy. And I really didn't want to do it. And I'm not pointing fingers, but, you know, I didn't really want to do it. And my my dad and my brother were like, oh, you need to do it. You need to do it. And I knew my instincts were like, eh, it, was, it wasn't like my thing, but I did it anyway. And um, and then at the end of the day, I had to write, you know, a hundred thousand dollar check. We all mm-hmm. had to kind of to close the business. And so I, I, it always frustrated me that I even said yes when I knew I should have said no, but I felt like, well, it's with my brother and well, maybe if it, you know, maybe this, you know, to me, my instincts have always led me. And, and so I didn't listen to my instincts. So I look at it and say, you know what, that was a hundred thousand dollar class on listening to your instincts and learning how to say no. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was an expensive seminar. It was an expensive <laughs> yeah. seminar, but but um, but it is what it is, right? And so I, I I hesitate to say the amount of money just because it sounds I don't want it to sound the wrong way, but it was it was what it was, you know, yeah. and and it and it has made me and saves me money moving forward because I I really honor my gut and yeah. I honor my instincts and. And, 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 and no one to say no, 